The 10th Istanbul Gathering for Freedom of Expression has discussed an overall perspective of state repression on the limits and threats that challenge media and human rights in Turkey, as well as in other countries of the world. Specifically, speakers highlighted the environment of harassment, intimidation and violence that many so-called democratic states exert on journalists and human rights defenders, how government repression of dissent becomes normalized and how criminalizing truth undermines democratic values. For Turkey particularly, criminal charges against journalists by the complaint of President Erdogan, anti-terror law, wider applications, internet censorship uh, are the main parameter for that uh, human rights defenders are uh, very concerned. So they don't want any more Turkey to lose the ground of human rights. Through presentations, panel discussions and forums, victims of state repression, including lawyers, activists, academics, cartoonists and artists, stressed on the importance of continuing the collective struggle to pursue justice. I would like to comment on conditions in our host country, here in Turkey. The governing forces uh, here are obviously not being described as vulgar, lawless, violent, and even also use the word fascistic. Human rights organizations worldwide, PEN International and Wisdom PEN included, react with a contempt on a continuous violation against human rights. Julian Assange, the founder of Wikileaks, joined the conference by live Skype link from the Ecuadorian embassy in London and urged participants never to give up the struggle for freedom of expression and not to shy away from exposing the atrocities of their state. The collective consensus among speakers and participants at this two-day conference is that they will not abandon their right to freedom of expression despite intense government pressure because they believe that the freedom of expression is as important as the freedom to breathe. Verenia Keat, Press TV, Istanbul.